when I first came to the country, I came from Somalia, which is a country that's been having war for 24 years now. We had no education, so we go out fighting and just you know, do things that just to get away from each other. So when I came here, I still had that mentality. The first day I went to school, I broke someone in the mirror because that's how aggressive it was. I didn't, know, I didn't understand him, I had no English, but because of what he said to me and because of what I heard from media, it's like I was afraid. Or oh, when new kids come to the country, they get bullied. And I was like, oh, do you know what? That's not going to happen to me. So, and I started playing football. With the football, when someone tackles me, I, t- I was taking it offensive. I just boot that person or just, I was really aggressive, you know what I mean? It's not like something that, somebody that you want to be friend with. I wasn't there, I was proud of what I was doing. I would just go out to swimming pool and just mess about, you know what I mean? Like, it was, there was nothing that was good about what I was doing, you know what I mean? One of them is in prison. One of them, I don't have contact with them. I would have just been like one of them and end up in prison because they would have taken me instead of me taking them to the right way. South first came to my school and I found that she was Somali. We have a pro- um, something called Active and Grief that we're doing, so come on volunteer. And I said, okay, let me hop in. After I've done my volunteering, they spoke to me and they said to me, you know what, how would you like to create something that might change like your life and other people's life? That's how we came up with Big Brother. We started it and all we did is Saturday we used to play football, but then I started to understand like the project is not just me playing football and me just getting people to play football, it's more than that. So I started taking more serious, I started getting my friends to come. So I was targeting people out especially, I know that I need help. Big bro just went boom, it went like that and then that's why we're here now. The sports helped me a lot because I mean every time I play football I was coming down, I was learning like how to love and everything and I, I was just growing up doing sports so that's why I love sports so much and this project because it's something that I want to do something that changed me you know what I mean and I know they can change other people's life as well in the future as the years went down I had my friend with me Tess and Abdul Malik we've been mentored by Safiya and Catherine and then also we've been mentoring other young people to do what we do and then we'll get in qualifications just giving qualification to young people and just saying just you know what there's a job opportunity here do you want to go that's actually helpful, you know what I mean? It means a lot. And it shares, like, when you're younger as well, money means a lot because you don't get that often. And young people go into drugs and stuff like that because they need money. But then when you have a qualifications and you're getting money, you're buzzing, you're, like, you're over the top with the joy. When I started Big Brother, I didn't want to go to uni. Like, I hated education. I just wanted to work. But then you understand with Big Brother, they teach you to do something for yourself to be able to help my mom. So with education, when I get the grades that I need, the qualifications, then I can actually, my mom, I can help my mom instead of me just dropping out of college. I think from my dad's side, I think I'll be the first one to go to university. I am, I'm trying to do sport therapy. My mom has always believed in me. When I found out I was going to uni, she was buzzing. Abby, he's the funny guy. Like, he's, he's my longest run friend. So when we first met, we had that connection. We did things together. And when I started Big Brother with him, I wanted to him to have the same thing as me. The words of Safiya was to make people take each other not let one person down. Abby, he's a funny, he's a charming guy, and he, he's got a lot of qualities that he, he, like nobody else has. So for him to be where he is, I am actually so proud of him. He, at the Maliki, he, he was a very shy guy. Now he's confident, he can speak, like great speaker. He's going uni with me to Leeds as well. Just, I love him so much. Yeah, that before I had the small goals like, oh, I just finished this and get married. You know what I mean? They, they weren't really the goals that somebody needs. Now it's just like, oh, go to Leeds progress some, start something that I've not been done before. Achieve my biggest dream, not just my dreams, but my family's dreams. I've got bigger mindset and great things in life now, yeah. Well, what I'm most proud of what Big Brother's achieved is how we came all the way here as a group. Like, it's been two years and there's not been a time where we thought Big Brother would go down. It's always been on top and improving to be the best. And also what I'm proud of myself is me. After, after everything I've done, I've done so many great things, but I'm proud of myself because for sticking to what I've been doing, for just believing in me. As a founder, you can't you can never believe, you know what I mean? I started this and I always be there. I started Big Brother because I was scared. I was scared that I was going to lose my life. Oh. Oh. I was scared that my family would not. My family would not. My family would not be proud of me. I had to do something different because I wanted to make my mom proud. It was really hard. Coming from the new country, coming to another country, coming to new country and doing what I've done. And all of you can do it. Let me do it. Go.